everyone and welcome to a virtual class. Today we are going to pass to lesson 3, unit 2, and the topic we are going to tackle today is to lie or not to lie. Open the textbook at pages 24, 25, English for life for the 8th form, and follow me, please. How often do you tell lies? Are you telling lies? No teacher will respond. Are you sure? Everybody tells lies, you may say, everybody has secrets to hide, and you are right. So today we're going to discuss if it is acceptable to tell lies, read the text about lies and discuss it, mind the pronunciation of some words, learn and differentiate the verbs lie, lie, and lie. What definition can you give to the word to the idiom white lie? Have you ever heard of the idiom white lies? Some of the lies occur when people want to be nice or to spare somebody's feelings. These white lies are told out of kindness rather than to deceive or to be malicious. So, the definition of the white lie. A lie that is told in order to be polite or to stop someone from being upset to the truth. Can you think of any examples of white lies? You tell your friend you really like his gift, although it is not so. You tell your mother that the loaf of meat was delicious, although it was a bit overcooked. Is it acceptable to tell white lies? What do you think? Bring at least two arguments. First, second, to sum it all up. After you have done all this, you can go to pronunciation. So. Repeat after me, please. Lie, lay, late, laying, lying, cruel, guilt, check, urgently, entire, fragile, cash register, sensitive. There are some words that you might misunderstand, like to blow into someone's face, to tell directly something and to offend, to blow up into your face, have an action plan or situation, go drastically wrong with damaging effects to yourself. Cash register, mechanical or electronic device for registering and calculating transactions at a point of sale, as you see in the picture. You are hardly going to tell, you will probably not tell, you are not going to tell. Now, if you have remembered the vocabulary, it's high time for you to go to reading. Great lies. Every day in every area of our lives we tell and hear a thousand lies, not cruel lies, not harmful lies, not lies that matter. No, of course not, but great lies. I'll be waiting an hour, your check is in the post, fresh today, I'll call you, nothing like this has ever happened before, of course I love only you. We pretend with no effort and less guilt that we don't lie through our teeth every minute of the day, and everyone else pretends that they don't either. But lying saves time and worries, it makes everybody happier than they would be if they're always told and had to listen to the truth. After all, you don't really want to hear that you'll be lucky if you ever see your gadget again. When you find out that you are not going to get paid, at least for a few months, you feel stressed. Why should you want to know that the last cabbage in the shop needed urgently for the salad you are making for the dinner party has been under the cash register with a cat fur for the last two weeks. You are hardly going to tell anyone that you are going to eat an entire family-sized bag of potato chips. Not likely. Moreover, if you want to sell your car, you are not going to tell the buyer that the door does not lock. Think like this. Life is a complicated, fragile and sensitive machine. Not great, perhaps, but the only one we've got. And lies are the oil that keeps the whole thing from blowing into our faces. Read the text again and decide if the following statements are true or false. Every day we tell 1000 lies. The lies we tell every day do not hurt anybody. People choose to lie because white lies save our lives. Lies make people happy. People want to know what kind of cabbage was used in their salad. So, it's high time for you to check yourself. Every day we tell 1000 lies. True. The lies we tell every day do not hurt anybody. True.
People choose to lie because white lies save our lives. False. In fact, it saves time and worries. Lies make people happy. True. People want to know what kind of cabbage was used in the salad. False. Actually, people don't want to know what the cabbage that the cabbage might have been covered with cat fur. So the next exercise is match the following definitions with the underlined words from the text. You may pause the slide and do it yourself. After this, you may check the answers. Extremely unkind, cruel, a feeling of being unhappy. Worries, a feeling of having done something wrong, as you see. Guilt, almost not. Two words here, hardly and not likely. Causing damage, harmful. Needing attention, very soon, urgently. To be important, to matter. Whole with nothing missing, as you see, entire. If these are your answers, you did a great job. Let us look and remember once again. Extremely kind, cruel, a feeling of being unhappy, worries, a feeling of having done something wrong, what is it? Guilt. Almost not, what is it? Hardly, not likely. Causing damage, what is it? Harmful. Needing attention very soon, urgently, to be important, to matter, whole with nothing, missing, entire. Now I suggest some post-reading activities. Read the text and answer the following questions. According to the text, what truths do the following lies hide? I'll be ready in an hour. The check is in the post. Fresh today. I'll call you. Does the text reflect the reality of the role of lies in our society? Bring arguments. Do you agree with the author's opinion on lies? Bring arguments. You can pause the slide and write the answers to these questions yourself. I think you can do this task independently. I wish you great success. Now, that exercise, please. Have you ever been lied to? Answer these questions. Open your copybook and jot everything down. What is the worst lie you have ever heard? How do you feel when somebody is lying to you? Do you think lies are a necessity in our life? Who benefits from a lie? The liar or the person lied to? Why? Who feels more uncomfortable, the liar or the person lied to? Why do people tolerate lies? Why do some people lie? Let's learn these three verbs. Lie, lie and lay. So what are the people doing? They are lying. They tell lies. The verb lie means not to tell the truth. The verb lie is a regular verb. You should remember this. Lie, light, light, lying. Let us go to the other verb. Lie, lay, laying. This is an irregular verb and the meaning is to recline. So what is the dog doing? The dog is lying where? On the bed. Lie, to recline. Lie, present tense. I asked my mother to lie down as she looked exhausted. Lay, past tense. My mother lay down when I asked her to. Lay, past participle. The book had lain on the shelf for so long that it was covered with dust. And lying, present continuous, I was lying on the bed watching TV when I saw the horrific news. Again, the verb lie, lay, lay. It's not an easy verb, it's an irregular verb, and you should remember the past forms. What about this boy? He is lying on the grass, present continuous. He lay down, past simple. He has lain down, present perfect. He usually lies down on the grass, present simple. And the last verb, please. Lay, late, late, irregular verb. The meaning is to put something on something. Be careful, it takes the object. What is the lady doing? She is laying the table, present continuous. What does she usually do? She usually lays the table, this is present simple. What has she done? She has laid the table, present perfect. What did she do? She laid the table. This is past simple. Let's revise again the difference between lie and lay. Lie means to recline. Lay means to put something down or to place something. Past tense, late. There is a direct object. 
Some other meanings for these verbs. Look here. To lay eggs and to lie down. Look and remember. Now it's high time for you to practice these verbs. So, an exercise for you. Complete the following sentences. You can pause the slide and do this exercise yourself. Then you can check your answers. She has laid the blanket on the grass. He has lain on the grass for a couple of hours. I consider that the magician has lied to his audience. Now, one more evaluation exercise. Practice these verbs in the sentences. Use the required tense. Past simple, past perfect, present simple, be going to. Pause the video and do this exercise yourself, then check everything. So if these are your answers, you have done a great job. I'm going to lie down on the floor. Henry usually lays his book on the floor. Yesterday Henry laid his book on the floor. Yesterday Henry lay in the hammock before dinner. Yesterday I laid the book in the hammock before dinner. He had lain in the sand two hours before they left. He had laid the lunchbox in the sand two hours before they left. So, it's all for today. Thank you for your attention. I hope you have worked productively well. Stay safe and stay healthy. Goodbye. Thank you.